everyone and welcome back to Technical Tuesdays. This is part three of our airflow measurement series. This week we're going to talk about the ASIN flow finder. Uh, and this is what's known as a powered or active flow hood. So essentially it works similar to a blower door or a dove tester. It has its own calibrated fan built in with its own high precision manometer. And so it does similar to uh, the pressure matching that we talked about last week with the duct tester. So any pressure that it feels, uh, it's able to measure that and then convert it to flow. And it can do that with both supply and exhaust flows. So uh, it comes with the 16 by 16 inch clear hood. Uh, and there's an optional 24 by 24 inch hood as well. Uh, don't worry bud, this is not one of those cone collars that you get from the vet, so you don't have to worry about that. One thing to look out for though, if you are using the 16 by 16 inch clear hood, uh, there is a uh, correction factor there that you have to use to make sure that you're getting that uh, accurate flow. So don't forget about that. Uh, though if you are using the 24 by 24 inch, the big red hood, uh, you don't have to apply that there. So that's just one difference between those two hoods. So here you can see uh, I'm measuring a return with the flow finder here uh, that's built into the wall. The flow finder maxes out at 589 CFM. Uh, this return pulls a lot less than that here. You can see we've got about 200 CFM here. Uh, and then uh, in the same room, I can just go ahead and switch over and then measure a supply. There's no need to tell the flow finder uh, which way the flow is heading. It can tell that on its own and you'll see that with the little uh, indicator arrow at the bottom of the screen to show if it's a supply or an exhaust. There's also a spot on the flow finder to store your readings if you'd like. Uh, there's an SD card slot that you can use. So once you take a reading, you can store it and move on to the next. So no need to keep a pen and paper to keep up with your flows. But that's a quick rundown on the Ace and Flow Finder. You can find more information on this at RetroTech.com. Join us back here next week as we talk about a new topic. Thanks for watching.